Water we are going to be making watermelon <coughs> Twizzlers. And it'll take a while, so. We're going to be using a dehydrator. And it's going to be really cool. My dad's going to be cutting the watermelon. And we're so excited to show you guys this video. Watermelon's dancing. Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah. I'm a little watermelon. Watermelon candy. Right here. So here we go. I'm posting this on YouTube. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Stick her on the camera. Okay, we All right, did. stop showing off. I'm just like taking it Mr. Daddy show off person. <gasps> and there's so the good. inside of the watermelon. <gasps> it's mine. Now what we need to do is we have to cut it in half inch thickness. So we're going <laughs> to guesstimate right around here for Dad, this size. Daddy, but, they're kids, not grown-ups. But when I go like they this, I want to cut it this way because it'll make it much easier to cut because you cut it in half and then you cut it in half again this way so it's flat to be able to cut strips easier. So now we'll cut the half inch strips just like so. Half inch. Now each one you want them equally the same size because they'll dehydrate at the same rate. So there's that. Notice all the same thickness. Now, Lottie Dottie, we like to potty. So now we have to cut the strips. <laughs> So now we want it like leather. So you want it kind of a certain thickness, like so. This way. And then you want to make sure that you cut off the cores here. So you might want to just do one piece at a time so you only cut the white. Right up to the white. The other side, one piece at a time. You cut here, you cut here, and you cut here. Now, if you look at this here, you got it all the same thickness, notice. Length is okay, they can be any length that you want. And now it's a lot to cut as you can see, so we're gonna pause and come back to you in a little bit. Step one, clear that, okay? Clear this. All right, we have any to learn. The top of the dehydrator. Daddy's phone. And then we're just going to keep grabbing the pieces. Um, that part's my job. That part's my job to talk on the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my dad's pretty awesome, so you guys are going to be laughing a lot in this video. Yeah, he's pretty funny too. And then last rack of right here. No more filming in this part. Be sure to put your end somewhere. <laughs> so one neat thing here is that you have a little plastic bag right here. Our favorite is from the Publix grocery store. <laughs> and we put it on the side so that I can put all of my ends in here. And I don't worry about getting everything dirty all, the, all, all over the place. So it's very helpful to have this by your side. Dad, you forgot to do these. Thank you very much. So we did one so far. That's what it's going to look like. For all four. <clears throat> so we are on to the second half. Dad, do you want to say anything? Uh, still cutting. Okay, he said so. Takes a while. Here's a tip. Um, Tips to stack them. You have to find equal sizes, and then it works great. See? <laughs> boom, boom, Chicken boom. soup! So as you can see, you do have to stack them all up. It's okay. 
You have to stack them up. And then the temperature, turn on the light, is, it goes from, just turn on the light so they can see it, because it's really, really hot. It goes from, wait, one second, let me let the candle settle. Alright, so that's not going to happen. Um, so, it goes from 135 to 145. So make sure you do that, and we will be with you in a couple hours. We have 51 more minutes until you guys get to see what it will look like. Yay! Watermelon might be done. And if you can see, let me try to focus this. We put it on to 35 because when it, when, once it starts to end, and you want to put it on overnight. So, so once it starts to end, you uh, put it on 35. And it's going to be really warm if you touch it, so that means it's good. Good, good, good. You want to leave it on to 10 to 12 hours. So. With four yeah. layers of yumminess. We're going to test it. Woo! So we're turning it off right now. Can someone turn off the camera? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. So to turn it off, you just um, unplug it. So. There's really no way to turn it off. You keep turning it. But, but I can't. Yeah. Oh, it's like saying no. Don't do what she's doing. No, don't. So, Lisa, to test it, you break it apart in mm -hmm. half, and then you squeeze it a little bit and see if any juice comes out. I can't hold this. This is what they should look like. Here, use this one. It's a big one. Split it in half and squeeze it. Is it dry? Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks dry. It's dry to me. Who wants to taste it? Me. Me. I'll taste it. So we're going to be tasting them. Sorry, you can't see us taste it. Yay. So mission complete. I hope you loved this video. And help them. Wait, I want to taste this. Mmm. Uh. I um, love. If you want them a little harder, then just let them dry. And then, no, we'll let them cool. So yeah, we're just going to let them cool. So please like and subscribe to this video. We're, we made watermelon Twizzlers. Yay. Come. Want more food videos? Please comment down below and tell us what one. Bye.